In this video, we will give practical recommendations for figures and tables as part of reports and publications. And let us start with tables. This table on the left hand side shows our fantasy data set, which we have discussed in the video about data formats. It reports observations of Arctic animals on Svalbard. It's just an example. But notice that the table has a number and has a caption. And this is important so that the table can be cross-referenced. For tables, it is customary to place the caption above. Tidy, tidy data, which we have discussed in the data format lecture, is good for storing data, but not necessarily for displaying tables in publications like in this example. Here we prefer the wide format. Note that we don't use any vertical lines and data rows are not separated by horizontal lines. We use different alignment for text numbers, for single characters, and header fields follow this alignment. Also figures are numbered and have captions. And note that the caption is then for a figure typically below the figure. And each figure has a title, and the title is, th is the first element of the caption. This is often forgotten. Start the caption with a title. Axes and legends need titles as well. When preparing figures for print, we should remember that figures that are good for presentation slides may not be good for publications in our manuscript. In a presentation, we have the whole screen, but in a publication, we may have very little space on the page. So for print, increase the font size and ticks and print the figure on a smaller size and check whether it is still readable. Finally, some copyright considerations. When you, when you publish a manuscript, you typically transfer the copyright to the publisher, including the figures. And one way to keep the copyright of your figures so that you and others can reuse them without asking the publisher is to upload them to services like Figshare or Zenodo under a Creative Commons license. You get a digital object identifier that you can use and you can cite these figures in your manuscript and still use them outside, for instance, in your PhD thesis without any problems.